Welcome back to Ramp Racing for the beginning of Season 7 with The Clash. Last time, we saw British Ball 2024, then known as Ed Petrolski, the country's fan, get a championship. And now he's in this number 45 car and he's going to be contending with the championship with many other great drivers, such as the Rookie of the Year, Crazy Dallas, Kirby Tanks on Gaming Productions 39, who was the first ever one to ever win in the series. Reddick Biffle back here, who had a, his best season ever. And you've also got NASCAR and Dogs, who's been consistently in the championship battle. So here's your starting lineup for the Clash. And some of these cars are a little bit different to what you saw in the sign-up video. To, just so we can optimize the best possible performance for the Rainbow Road. We've even got a couple of Gen 6 cars here. So, all right, here's starting lineup and we'll have the clash up next. Also, Rene Hernandez here's got our first new paint scheme of the season. We didn't have this car before the clash and it will be here today for it. Because it's faster than his other one, so let's get it started. All right. We're here at the track. Let's get it started. We've got two rows of, of cars in the crowd this time, and we'll see how who will come out with the clash and who could get the bonus points or possibly getting reserved into the 54 car. So, all right, let's begin the clash. First race, the number 34 of Rene Hernandez, the 51 of Jennifer Moores, the 31 of the Airborne number 3, the 41 of NASCAR and Dogs, and the number 19 of Skylar Yor. That's the plan to start this race. Oh, close race! Rene Hernandez will advance with the new paint scheme. Good start for him. Airborne number 3 also finishes. Three cars fail to finish. Jennifer Moore, Skylar York, and the NASCAR and Dogs all failed to finish. Up next, the number 43 of Kirby Tanks on Gaming Productions 39. The number 10, that would be Crazy Dallas, the previous Rookie of the Year. The previous champion, the 45, that is British Ball 2024. Number 20 of Dante XD, and number 99 of It's Skylanders Gamer YT. Oh, it's gonna go to Dante XD. Good performance for him. Unfortunately, it's Skylanders Gamer YT and British Ball 2024, the defending champ, both out of luck today. Up next, number 12 of Gibby the Dude, the number 13 of previous All Star Race winner, Caden Smart. The number 16 of NFCS Racing Network. Number 75 of Caden Sap. And number 11, that would be Reddick Biffle. Oh, oh, Caden Smart had the lead, and then Caden Sap beat him. And Caden Sap is gonna advance. Up next, number 4 of Stuart Haas Fan 14. Number 60 of NASCAR HMS fan. Number 54 of NASCAR dude. Number 84 of D-Lo the Noob. And number 17, that would be Adam the Noah Gregson fan, 10 and 48. And looks like NASCAR dude's gonna advance. Stuart has fan 14 was hoping for better there, as he is not going to be reserved into the 54. And it looks like the airborne number 3 is also going to make it into the final, so have a chance to win this clash. Alright, it's time for the finals. Let's see who will win the Season 7 clash. We've got number 31. He won his way here. To just doing well in the previous round, we've got the Airborne number 3, number 20 of Dante XD, number 34 of Rene Hernandez, number 54 of NASCAR Dude, 
Number 75 of Kate and Sam. Let's see who will win in this clash. And there they all go. Oh! In its super close finish, Rene Hernandez is the winner. First career victory for Rene Hernandez. Great win. And Rene Hernandez with the new paint scheme takes it over Dante XD and the Airborne number three. As he's going to do his victory lap. Great win for him. So we will move to the podium to discuss your top finishers. Here we are at the ramp racing podium to discuss your top finishers. Your winner, Rene Hernandez, wins the clash. First career victory for him. He's going to be happy about this one. This is a good new paint scheme, especially in the clash. He will be using this paint scheme for a couple more races later in the season. So we're excited to see if he will get some top 10s in the number 34 freight auctions car. Second place, he came so close to winning, but it was unfortunately not his day in the clash. He came close. He was the fastest car to not win his segment and advance to the finals anyways. It's the Airborne number 3 season 5 champ doing great again. Third place, Caden Sapp got close to being reserved for the number 54, but got unlucky in the finals and got beaten out. Still a good performance from him. In fourth place, Dante XD. He did pretty decently last season despite a couple of rough races, which put him in the clash. He did not do that bad. Fourth place, good finish, and and the NASCAR dude will finish in 5th place. He had an unfortunate finals where he DNF'd. He will finish 5th. He won race 9 last season and came from behind after seemingly being the slowest truck in the field. Maybe he might want to take the 54 full time since it's the only car that's still available since Rene Hernandez is the winner of the clash. We will move on to the next race, and we're excited to see the full 44 car Gen 7 field take to the track. So we will see what happens in the upcoming race.